I actually think that people, the, one of the biggest problems with relationships today is that people aren't living together. And like when you live with somebody, like think about it, for 300,000 years as homo sapiens, we, when you love somebody or when you were like with somebody, you know, fully, you were around them all the time. Like a caveman, he's going to kill off your other guy and then fucking fuck you. And you're going to sleep in the same cave as him every night. Like there was no, like, we're going to separate. I, it's, it's, I a, agree. it's a very, it's a very new thing that people try to do all the time. Like we need to go back to nature because we're trying to solve a lot of these issues with modern techniques. Whenever we need to go back and see what's not natural Listen, to us. you know. Hey, I a hundred percent agree. I didn't see my parents walk out when times were hard or quit. And I ain't talking about when you got children in the house. Yeah. I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about two grown people who say, hey, kids ain't in the car for us. But marriage is, I love you, et cetera, et cetera. The shit you talking about. But you know what end up happening is? People suffocate each other. Today, everything's in hyper. Now we got the phones. You ain't got no fucking I mean, I, I mean, I, mean I, I hyper disagree with you. I'm a, I've been a business noser for a decade, and I've always been at home. I've always worked in my office. I've always had girlfriends that live with me, and we didn't suffocate each other. I don't watch TV. I don't watch movies. I don't go and sit with her and spend any time with her. She You're does not the average I my, person. I know, but that this is the problem, though, is that people think that sitting on the couch and watching TV together all day, like all these things are good, normal things. And well, like, no, well, that's, those, well, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying those people that are doing that and suffocating, they're spending too much time together like that. That's because they're lazy people They're and they're not doing their life correctly, period. I disagree. And I'm going to tell you why I disagree. We saw that in the pandemic. Like we saw people going to remote work in the pandemic mm -hmm. and having to actually spend time with their partner, be face to face with them and having to see that person that they thought they just was so infatuated with and love so much be under them completely for a different lifestyle due to that. We saw children with failing grades and educational levels drop. We saw people have more increased uh, substance abuse and Adderall and all this other shit. We saw it in yeah. hyper and mass. Because yeah, there society, was more physical violence. Exactly. Yeah. Society changed. Where you're trying to revert back, I'm saying adapt. So I think we're on the same page when we're talking about, hey, we do need people who are willing to say, I made this oath. I'm not going to quit on you. But we have to be able to find solutions that provide everybody an outlet, mm -hmm. going back to the therapy, to not quit. Because everybody says, I want to quit. Why the fuck do you want to quit? The idea of marriage is I signed up for this, I ain't quitting. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm hearing conversations now where people are talking about, well, it, it's a contract, so we should be able to revise it after two years or five years. No, that ain't never how it works. Mm -hmm. It ain't never going to work because you don't get to revise and you don't want to be a parent no more. Mm -hmm. You don't get to do that. You don't get to quit on them kids. You don't get to quit on your parents. Yeah. The only thing you quit in life is your friends and jobs. Mm -hmm. That's it. But a family you created, you can't quit that. Because yeah. when you decided you were going to have a consensual relationship with this person and it became far more serious and y'all took the next step. Because now we got tons of time to date in bed. Mm -hmm. That's on you. Mm -hmm. So when you making this consecutive consecutive decision with this other individual, you have to be able to figure out what's the next step how to make this work. I don't think two people having a house right beside each other and saying, hey, this is one of those times where we're going through a bad phase. Maybe distance will make the hard grow fun funder before they start saying, let's go get separation papers. You yeah. get what I'm saying? Yeah. Or trying to something so simple that I hear women say a lot is I do more in the house than he does. Mm -hmm. So now you have to take yourself out of what he's responsible for versus what you're responsible for. But you still got to see me. You still got to be dedicated to me. You still got to be committed to me. Now, on the adverse, when you're saying you don't watch TV, you're not influenced by all these things, you're not the average person. Every time motherfuckers wake up in the morning, they're going to pick up their phone. They're going to pick up their phone before they say good morning. Very rude. No courtesy. Yeah. You know, they don't check in on their partner, but they're expecting their partner who's at a busy work day to talk to them all day. This is not something that our parents experienced. Mm -hmm. That's not the way they were with each other all day because they spent so much time away from each other. They didn't mind living in a house together. They were able to decompress. They weren't influenced by anything else in their community. If it was doing anything else, it was helping to save families. Mm -hmm. You know, when people used to have issues in their household and shout out to Betty Wright, because I'm very old school. Mm -hmm. I come from a very traditional background. She she was for real when she said, when you was having issues with your man, you used to have women come by and they would feed each other and they would sit and talk and they would counsel with each other and they would help give ideas on how to get better, mm -hmm. not push them away. 
and you have men who would say the same thing. Hey, you fucked that girl over. You need to go make that right. Mm-hmm. Right? People trying to pull y'all back together. And exactly. Yeah. But you don't get that today because Not you have everybody's social single, media. Yeah. You got everybody in everybody's business. Women go to work and we talk to our friends at work. Whoever they are, our co-workers know just, you get a better bond with your co-workers than you do your actual real friends. Sharon at the job know all your damn business. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but your friend, who you finna go kick it with this weekend, who you done known 10 years, she don't know damn near half of what's going on, but she just texted you and told you she seen your man with another woman walking in Walmart. You get what I'm saying? So now we got all these byproducts of negative influences based off of the accessibility we have to people when sometimes people just need a fucking break. But that don't mean I quit on you. Mm Mm-hmm. I didn't quit on you. I just stepped back and I allowed you to see things from my point of view. And I allowed me to see things from your point of view because we're stuck in an eco chamber mm-hmm. and we, we're so, we're so set up with saying you, my partner, I can't go a day without talking to you. I, I can see my parents walk in the house and go, I'm home. I right, dinner cook. And she went to one room. He went to another. That was it. They was went, going to bed together. But now it's if you go 24 hours without talking to me, you might as well go the rest of your life. What the fuck? I don't I don't have well, anything to say all the time. Like, and it's okay. But we overstep each other's boundaries. We suffocate each other. We're trying to make this bond more than what it is. But if you're spending two to five years with a person, eventually it's okay. Why are we so fear-mongered out of saying we, we have to be – so attached this is codependency it's not healthy which is why you're seeing women like tia mori when you get out of a relationship that's been longevity they don't know how to find themselves they they're they're, they don't have no identity without their man and and if somebody did move on the possibility is they were probably already fucking around in in the relationship as well but again we don't have identities no more you don't have women doing women shit with women anymore Mm -hmm. if it's not talking boss girl shit being an entrepreneur or going to kick it and spending money, you don't have women sitting around not taking their hobbies, trying to monetize it. Mm-hmm. You still have men doing those things, but not women. And so now they're thinking their idea of a relationship is solely influenced by we can't really be together unless he 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 want to see me successful. He we got to be a power couple. We got to do. Th- no, bitch, we regular. Like we're regular people. And sometimes that looks like I'm 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 an introvert. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I want to go in one room, play the game, you know where I'm at, you know what I'm doing, make me a sandwich, go in the bedroom and read a book. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It don't require all that. Yeah. We're creating unhealthy habits. And the moment that it changes, People lose their independence. They lose the sight of what they should be doing. They lose focus. They lose a lack of respect and empathy for their partner. Hey, y'all. Sergio here. I just want to mention I've created a completely free guide that shows you exactly how I went from having low confidence and being painfully awkward around women to easily meeting and dating numerous high-quality, desirable women in real life without the use of any dating apps or social media. So if you're struggling to get out there, if you have approach anxiety or don't know what to say or how to interact with women to make them want you and are sick of using dating apps with low value girls that hundreds of other guys have been chatting with, click the link in the description below to grab your free guide right now. And if you want private mentorship with me personally to help guide you every step of the way in this process, check out my mentorship program in the description too. I would be happy to help you reach your dating goals and overcome any obstacle you may face. And trust me, if I can do it, you can do it too. I hope to see you soon. Peace out.